Roots have a mind of their own. So we go back to Marie Joa. The Gorosei are once again giving us some exposition. Uh, they're upset. They lost an elite agent and have made Kaido angry. They say there's a potential future they want to avoid. The one they have right now is the one they would beg for. Um, they say there, uh, the samurai Gorosei says that in every era, the world government has attempted to steal the Gomu Gomu no Mi, but has never once succeeded. It has been 800 years of failure. It's as though the fruit has purposely escaped their grasp since all Zoan fruits have a will of their own. They even reveal that the Gomu Gomu no Mi is actually the Hito Hito Mi no Mi model type sun god Nika, a mythical Zoan fruit, a god fruit. Possessing this fruit gives the pros, uh, pr- <laughs> <laughs> possessing this fruit gives the possessor the properties of rubber and the ability to fight. However, that person wishes while bringing smiles to the faces of people. Awakening this fruit brings that person's body uh, rubber greater. I said that wrong. Awakening this fruit <laughs> brings that person's rubbery body uh, rubbery body greater physical strength and freedom. It is the most ridiculous power in the world. What are your thoughts on this reveal, and what does this mean for Luffy? We'll start with Seb. All right, so (laughs) I will say this. I thought I was going to hate this. Mm. I thought that I would hate any inclination of Luffy's fruit not just being the Gomu Gomu no Mi. Yeah. I did not hate this reveal in this moment because it seemed as though the fruit just made Luffy more Luffy. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. like you're already like you're you do gain rubber. So the plot holes of him and fighting and now that that's no longer like a problem because you're still rubber. But like the fact that they said like awakening it makes the rubbery body gain more freedom and things, it's like basically you have the Gomu no Gomu no me, and it only once you awaken it do you no, untap no. the special part of this ability. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, like, it doesn't really change anything. It just makes Luffy goofier. Mm. And we'll see that later into the into the chapter. But I I still do have gripes about just negligence in general from the world government, but they've been trash at their job for years. So I'm not... It's not like I can't expect that. Yeah. But, you know, I thought I would hate it, and I didn't. So... I was surprised at that, even in myself. I, I, I literally thought I would cringe if I ever heard them call it something that wasn't that. And the fact that it's like a mythical deity that's like something that Oda, Oda created within his own lore, mm-hmm. I think that helps because if it was something else, like if it was something else the whole time, like Sung Wukong or Resin or some of the other theories that had come out, that might have been a little like weird for me. The fact that it's like something that it's probably been foreshadowed for years. Mm. If you look back, um, it doesn't. It didn't bother me the way that I thought it would. So I don't know if I like it yet, mm-hmm. but it didn't. I didn't hate it. Put it that way. I didn't hate it. Okay. What about you, Law? What do you think? So I've been playing with this thought for a while now, and so right here, I guess we have the Gursay talking about it before we get the re- before they got to reveal that Luffy is back. Because mm-hmm. they're saying this is the beg for a, a different outcome. Mm-hmm. So they're still thinking that Luffy's dead. That's why they're saying this. So with that in mind, right, so they're talking about it. So it turns out they were chasing after Luffy's fruit the entire time. And they had, and this also explains why Who's Who probably got that punishment. Mm-hmm. You know? They were saying, like, why, did, why was Rob Lucy taken back? But Who's Who, who seemed like he failed lesser, right, than Rob Lucy, mm-hmm. why did he get a severe thing while... Either what we're saying right here, you you legit had the fruit in your possession. Like Rob Lucci got a promotion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but who's who had the fruit in his well, possession but failed? He didn't originally get the promotion. No, he, he yeah, definitely he worked his up. way up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. So this is interesting to, to me now with the reveal of the name of because this one you can still, in a sense, Luffy can still say Gumu Gumu Go. Right? He's always still gonna say that. Yeah, right. Because yeah. it's still rubber and everything. So, but now we have to switch up with the Zohan, right? And this actually raises questions for me and like what Oda has to do now since it revealed that it's a Zohan a mythical Zohan at that and it's saying model type like God right the sun god Nika to me you Oda has to reveal the origins of, of the fruits like mm-hmm. how they 
how they get this their power. Because this is not the first time we hear of the Hito Hito no Mi mm-hmm. model this type. Sengoku, his is a Hito Hito no Mi model Buddha, mm-hmm. right? So it goes right here. Like now that makes you think of like, are there other fruits that are going to be like um, as Ethan Zohan model of like other gods mm-hmm. in the One Piece lore or? The potential for other fruits now, to me, has just risen. Because mm-hmm. now we could see more examples if we have. Because I think there's three right now uh, that we know of. Yeah. With the Hita Hita no Mi, Luffy, Zohan, um, Luffy, Sengoku, and um, Chopper. Mm-hmm. Right? So now they, when they have different model types. So that makes me also think of even just other animals. Like, for example, just example of it. Like, is there going to be like a Zohan type uh, cat? Right, but like t- model type saber tooth, model type tiger, model Sphinx type or something. Yeah, exactly, because right. they're different types of cats. Mm-hmm. So then you could kind of break that down to like different ca- canines, cats, or whatever, to break down to branching out to more their fruits and then like even I guess their god forms of those animals. You know, like the Cerberus fruit or something. You know, so I mean, that opened up a lot for the fruit. So now with this one with Luffy is interesting because the sun god. I was trying to think, was it a real person? But like you said, it's a lore in One Piece that old... Uh, Oda created this, his name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's what, like you said, it's better that way. So I was looking up to it, like, now what, what it does for Luffy. Like, it made Luffy even, like you said, more of himself, more of a handsome person himself, because Luffy's always talking about freedom. He wants to be free. This fruit actually gives him, like it says, physical strength, but... And more freedom, right? So now, with the possibilities of Luffy's fruit, like, the uh, we're thinking about freedom is... Is the the lack of rest, uh, being restricted mm-hmm. or constraint? So, like, remember I talked about before about you could take your fruit as far as your imagination takes it. Right. Luffy Lee has the ability that as far as his imagination goes, he could take it just about anywhere. Kind of approaching where his ability could be almost like not really limitless, but like the potential to do almost anything as long as your imagination takes it and you have the freedom to do that. So that's like like I said, the most rid- ridiculous of the fruit because this fruit allows you to do that. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'll say one more thing before I'm going to go uh, mm-hmm. let you things. To me, with this, I don't, from what the, I read, what I understood, it makes it seem like Joy Boy and Nika are actually two different things. Like, Joy Boy wasn't the fruit. It's like, so the, it what I see is Luffy's actually became Joy Boy. It could even still be like your criteria, but now it's like, it's Joy Boy <laughs> with the mm-hmm. Sun God Nika fruit. That's what I'm, what I'm, what I gathered. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but go ahead. What about you? Um, It was hard for me. I had to stay away from One Piece, to be honest. Like, I didn't even want to talk in the chat. Because, to me, like, I felt like Oda missed it. He mm-hmm. missed the landing. And it wasn't it wasn't because of, like, the reveal. Like, it wasn't because of that, man. Like, the reveal itself is cool. I get that people don't like change. Mm-hmm. Like, they, you know, they've been saying, you know, they got tattoos of the Gomu Gomu no Mi. And, you know, it, that's what it represents to them. I was really happy that the rubbery body stayed the same, Mm -hmm. and I'm happy at all the the little details that came with it. I just think that it was spawned upon us way too, way too quickly. That I'll agree. Because Mm -hmm. the first time we ever heard of Nika was from Who's Who, and that happened probably like 20 chapters ago. The name, yes. The name, the yes. Name, yes. Yeah, yeah. Like we have heard the sun god. The sun before, god right? we've yeah. heard before, mm-hmm. but it's just the name. And like, for that to just be Luffy's fruit to accomplish beating Kaido, it's kind of weird. I, I, I think it's the delivery that everybody's upset about. I don't think it's the actual change of fruit. I think it's really just the delivery. Like, Oda didn't set it up in a way where we were excited about it or Mm -hmm. expecting it i think it being hidden and then being shown to us was really a detriment more than a benefit to us um especially with the little red herring that he was sending you know this is definitely zunisha in Mm -hmm. my opinion it was supposed to be zunisha Mm -hmm. but it ended up not being zunisha it's like i know luffy needed this power up and i'll go into that when we get to the kaido stuff yeah but am i happy about it I'm not too sure still. I, I sat with the idea, you know. I was, you know, I, I I literally was just like, man, I can't even be in a Discord right now because if I am, I'm gonna just spew like a bunch of negative feelings that I have about One Piece, and I don't want to give that to like most of the passionate people behind this. Mm-hmm. And like, it's not fair to Oda either. Like, it's his story. Like, yeah. he created his own deity. I don't. 
I respect it, but at the same time, I don't because of like how things have been going within Wano for me and the power scaling up, and I'll get into that more, but I'm happy that Luffy is able to fight. I'm just not happy as to why he is able to fight. And I think at this point, we can take whatever the girl say has said with a grain of salt, but also with the biggest like, this might ruin the series in a way for mm-hmm. me, which is why a lot of people are now either dropping the show or staying alive. Like somebody's dro- jumping the ship or they're staying on the ship mm-hmm. to finish the adventure. So we'll get back to that in the Kaido portion. Mm-hmm. So I got more to say after that. Um, we get to the least favorite part of the chapter. 